his teammates to be there to back him up, and that's going to mean Fnatic now with a 10 round lead. 13 to 3 is your score. And why are you offline? I don't know, man. It disconnected me as well. The DDoS is real. No, don't worry. I'm reconnecting. Oh, don't worry, Chewie. Calm down. It, <laughs> it disconnected by itself. It's not in my hands. Guys, uh, I want to jump in as fast as possible. So we're in a 4 by 3 resolution. So I'll jump into a 16 by 9 resolution as soon as uh, we have a pause time or whatever. So Chewie, come on, radio cast. That's cool. I can do that. I can do that. Edward's actually picked up an AK-47. But apart from that, it's all going to be pistols here for Na'Vi. And uh, that's going to be an interesting move from Edward to get that AK-47. I'm not quite sure what he's going to do with it. Of course, Fnatic with those heavier rifles after winning the pistol round here on the second half. We've got a FAMAS for Crims, a couple of, well, one M4, um, a P90, a FAMAS for Flusher, and Pronax has got a Bison. So, you know, kind of the weapons that you'd expect to see. Nothing really too crazy whatsoever. So he's going to find a player on the A bomb site. And in comes the push on away. Na'Vi really stacked up here on the A-bomb site, but so are Fnatic as well. Uh, Seas is going to open things up though onto Pronax, and they should be able to get the bomb down here. And actually, Olof Meister is going to go down. So is this going to be an eco win here coming in for Na'Vi? I have a feeling it could be. They're doing so well, and Guardian picks up two huge frags with the CZ-7-5. Crims is the last one left alive in a 1 versus 5 situation. He's going to pick up two with the FAMAS. And let's see what he can do. Na'Vi have got the bomb down here, but this is the thing. Fnatic evidently got cocky, decided to go for some weird things like, well, P90s aren't exactly the weirdest buy in the world, but, you know, they just thought that it was going to be an easy anti-eco bash. Wasn't the case. And Starix is going to finish things up. So Na'Vi win the second round on an eco. And that's going to play well for them there. Let's see if they can bring the comeback. I still think it's too little too late, but luckily we're in the game. Yeah, we are, and I'm switching to a widescreen resolution. So, uh, you know when Zeus was trying to trying to do the uh, players from behind and was making yeah. those easy shots? It sort of reminded me of that game we were playing yesterday, watching you play. Anyway, Thank you. Zeus. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Zeus. With a headshot onto Olaf, of course, it's only an anti-eco from Navi. They've uh, played against a heck of a load of these, and they'll deal with it yet again, or maybe not, because they won an eco round uh, in the last round. There we go, Frins with the CZ-75, drops one, looking for the second. Oh, dealt a bit of damage onto C's, but didn't get the kill in the end, and he has rotated over to Pronax, to his uh, team leader on the A bomb site. Like, try trying to group up, but no, he made too much noise. He's going to go down, and now Pronax is last man standing. I have a feeling that uh, this could just be delaying the inevitable. I don't want to take anything away from Na'Vi, and they could all well come back into this game. You know, you never quite know with CSGO, but uh, I just feel it's a matter of time as soon as Fnatic get those rifles back in hand and start to uh, play their normal counter-strike action that we've been seeing so far in this game here. It will just be a matter of time before they finish it out. But I'd love to see Na'Vi come back into it and really start to impress us. We will have to see what they're going to do. Fnatic still not with enough money whatsoever to uh, get anything of worth it in this next round, which will be round number 19, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah, in we go. Here we go. Fnatic still ecoing. They've sent three to push B and two to push the A bomb site. They've boosted a few... Into vents, I think. JW is, uh, no, it's, yeah, JW's in the vent. He's falling back. He saw a heck of a load of terrorists at mid and decided, right, I'm falling back. I'm going all the way over to the A bomb site. I'm not going to gamble here. And, uh, I don't know. JW is going to get the headshot. The uh, Navi players and the Ukrainians are going to push down mid. Starix returns a frag. But you know what? This, is, this isn't looking, looking too bad for the Swedes. No, nope. he's still in with a fighting chance, so you never quite know. If they get a couple of quick frags on the ball, that'll be good, but Guardian shuts down Olaf Meister there. Lovely accuracy with the AK-47. Pronax does try and respond, and he's just not going to get those shots down range, unfortunately. So this should, again, be another round in favour of Na'Vi here. And that's the thing, though. I have a feeling that if Fnatic had have had those all-important rifles there, there would have been a good chance that they could have taken this round. Seize is going to get two nice shots onto Crimson Flusher to finish things off. That's going to be 13-6 in favour of Fnatic still with a 7 round lead for the Swedes. And they're going to be able to buy rifles here so we'll see if they can finish this one up here in style. And Crimson is actually going to drop an AWP for JW by the looks of things. So here we go. 
full rifle rounds here on the second half. I'm looking forward to seeing if Fnatic can finish this game out or whether Na'Vi are going to start putting the Swedes on edge. GT deals. Lol. How does JW fit in vents? CS. <laughs> Edward. Deals a bit of damage onto Pronax. Uh, as Crims is all eyes on white. Trying to prevent some sort of uh, Navi boost. But they are playing this really, really deep on Navi. In the previous rounds, we saw them try to push mid, take control of it before the CTs get there. This time round, they're still in front of spawn. They're waiting for the CTs to come to them. They seem to know something we don't. Maybe they've, you know, reviewed, reviewed a few Fnatic's demos on this map. They have a small hint that Fnatic will get impatient, will start to push them. So who knows? Who knows indeed, but still no frags as of yet, and we've got 53 seconds left on the clock. That bomb looks like from the minimap, it could be making its way over towards A and C's actually scared of Starix there, but in comes the smoke, so the push will be going in towards A unless they get those smokes down and then decide to switch things up. And I'm wondering if Fnatic are aware of it. There's only going to be one player as it stands over there, and that is going to be Pronax. For some reason, Auto Director takes us to the complete wrong bomb side. In comes the push, flashes go down, Crims tries to rotate through, but he's not going to get anywhere quickly. He's going to get taken down. Pronax finishes off Cito. It's a 4 and 4 situation as things stand. Now the CTs start to roll through. It's not going to work though. Na'Vi have woken up and they're now going to leave themselves in a 3 versus 2 situation. JW picks up the AWP. Tries to see if he can find anybody on that A bomb site. Not going to find anybody there though my friend. As we can see exactly where those T players are on the X-ray mode. And I just like this here from the T's when they just stay on top of the bomb and don't really do too much else. It looks like it could work for them very very well here. And of course, the CTs have got to take into account that that bomb is ticking. It is, but look who it is. It's Guardian to get one. Guardian Ooh. with two. Falling from the sky, but still manages to pull it out the bag like a Guardian Angel. Ah, 13-7. And ah, Guardian and Kenny S are just so good. They really are. They really are. It's uh. I mean, we've you know we've got two of the best orpers in the game here, Guardian and JW, and obviously we know that Kenny S can just do some crazy things as well, and it's a real pleasure to see what they can do. So, Fnatic now, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if they get a little hot under the collar, so to speak, as we say here in England, because Na'Vi aren't too many rounds behind now, and they've actually forced Fnatic down onto another eco, and it looks like this could be 13-8 in no time whatsoever. Seized is going to get caught, but does find Pronax and shuts him down. So that's going to lead things onto a 5 on 2 situation as things stand here in round number 21. But still, yeah, you know, now that it's here, they're starting to come back into the game. Let's, you know, let's put it into perspective. They're about 12 3 down at one point. They were, I think, 11 1 down or something like that. And they've just been uh, really starting to wake up, coming back into the game. And I uh, have a feeling that they could get some more rounds onto the board after this. You never quite know. Yep, four yeah. versus one. Flusher all by himself with this CZ75. I'm not sure if C spotted him. Mm, definitely has seen him now. But uh, the amount of ammo he has is slowly and slowly decreasing. He's being pushed from all angles and down he eventually goes. But I'll tell you what, Chewy, two kills wasn't too shabby for Fnatic when you consider that they were on an eco. Um, I think they dropped Guardian, so he's had to rebuy. An AWP, I think. I'm not sure if one of their uh, the Navi players picked it up, but I do know that Guardian definitely died. Um, so, so yeah. Any any weapon loss, you know, is going to hurt Navi's economy. And yeah. That really is the aim for the CTs uh, when he comes. Exactly, exactly. And we got a double up setup coming here from the team from Sweden, Olaf Meister and JW, the two people you would expect for Fnatic to have those orps in hand, and that's exactly who it's going to be, and Crims is actually up here in vent, so I'm liking his positioning from him, playing it aggressively, but he's going to get caught from a Molotov, and he's going to back away from that, but JW starts things off, so that's the orp down with Guardian gone, and uh, Edward's actually got it. So um, we'll see what work he can do. Olaf Meist is going to find one as well. So lovely orc shots coming in here. And this is exactly why Fnatic looks so good with that double orc setup. Because when you get those two early frags, it can shut things down quickly. And have a look at that minimap, Kyanite. Because you know, the T's on Na'Vi, they're spread quite far apart from each other. Here they are, JW. Lands the big green gun shot. The big AWP shot onto Edward. Leaving Na'Vi... Seriously outnumbered, but Seized through the door, he's looking for more, he might be able to get it, oh. yes he does! And Seized starts showing Fnatic who's the boss on this A-bomb site, but as always, I've jinxed it, or have I?
to see it's a one versus three situation coming in for Starrick. He is going to get shut down. Crim's there with two quick frags to finish things off. And just when it looked like Navi had an open A bomb site and could be able to push in and get that bomb down, it wasn't the case whatsoever. And now Fnatic finally with a round on the board here. Uh, after just a little delay in proceedings, I would say 14-8 is your score. Navi still aren't out of this yet, but if they had got that last round on the board, I really would have felt like there was a fighting chance of them really, you know, potentially coming in and drawing this game. But Fnatic still holding strong, showing their resilience and showing why they are still, despite the fact that they've recently changed out two players and added new ones, one of the best teams in the world. And JW is going to find one there, so that's already Guardian going down. JW with two. Is he going to get the third? He finally misses a shot after hitting so many. He's going to get caught here by Zeus if he's not too careful. But already here, JW wow. with three frags in the round, and that could already, by the looks of things, be good night for Na'Vi. Oh, that was a bit of a go TV uh, bug. Pronax drops Edward, leaving seized one versus four. 22 points of health. Let's go and have a look at where he is. Well, he's, he's, he's pretty much surrounded, isn't he? he manages to get one, but Pronax will take out the rest of the trash. 15 8 turned. Is the comeback real? Come uh, on, Navi. Come on. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's going to be the case. And having a look at their economy, it's going to be really, really difficult. They are going to try and drop a couple of AKs, but still, they're not going to have too many grenades. So they will be able to... Well, I'll tell you that back. They have got more grenades than I figured that they would be able to get at first thing. But, you know, it is a bit of a force by considering the fact that Zeus here has only got a P250. So not the best... Uh, that they could have hoped for, um, but we'll see what work they can do. And of course, Fnatic, with the amount of rounds that they've won here, uh, their economy is just rolling in. And Olaf Meister and JW still going for that double up setup. It's worked so far for them, and it's going to work again here as Olaf Meister takes down Starix to start things off. And could that be the start of the last round here for Navi? I have a feeling it could be. Let's wait and see. The nade is going to beautifully throw Nade from Fnatic. Know exactly where Edward uh, most likely is hiding, and it's dropped him down to 63 points of health. So here we go. The bomb has been dropped near the B bomb site. Edward is finally going to show some skin, but Crims is going big. So is Flusher, leaving Guardian one versus five with the weight of the world on his shoulders. And uh, 40 seconds to go. We've seen Guardian pull it off in the past, but uh, as always, we always end up jinxing it, me and you, don't we? Yeah, we do. It's kind of our speciality. So there we go. We can see the... Well, everybody's leaving, so we can't see the final scoreboard, unfortunately. But Fnatic managing to take out the game in convincing style. So well played to them. It looked a tiny bit uh, nerve-wracking after Na'Vi started coming to this game. But as you would expect, you know, they held strong. They weren't worried whatsoever. And that's going to be... Fnatic taking our second game of the day. If you are just joining us or if you didn't watch the first game earlier on, Epsilon beat online bots on Inferno 16-0. to and that was a, definitely an interesting one to cast. So, yeah, good games overall today. Yeah. Well, well say that. But. I think it's fair to say that this second game on, on cash improved significantly towards the end. Yeah, yeah, definitely I agree, but still not quite enough. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it from myself and Chewy. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow me. It's at Kyanite. So, K Y A. N one T E. So Kyanite with a one instead of an I, the same way it's written at the top of your screens. Um, the same thing as my Twitch channel. And you can follow Chewy on Twitter, it's at it's Chewy. So I T S C H E Double W Y. That is in, indeed, and I've just actually refreshed the stream, guys, and we are two single followers away from hitting 7,700. So if you are still here hearing us wrap up, and you do want to be a lovely fellow, um, follow the uh, stream. That would be very, very handy indeed, and that would really help us out. It's crazy how much this channel has grown. And uh, yeah, two more followers to hit 7,700. So if you haven't followed yet, please do, and we'll be around soon. We cover lots of games, we have lots of case openings, and we stream us playing quite a lot. So if you want to see how bad I am at this game, and why I cast and don't play, feel free to follow the channel. And uh, yeah, me and Kynight stream as much as we possibly can. But yeah going to be it. We're going to call it a day. I'm going to stick the good old SLTV add on. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in.
eSportBets.com – уникальное место для настоящего геймера. Только здесь возможны ставки на киберспортивные события. Ты знаешь толк в самых популярных играх и готов рисковать? Смотри регулярные трансляции и зарабатывай реальные деньги. И спортбетском. Живой азарт и холодный расчет. Бэтском. Уникальное место для настоящего геймера.